Marine Air Ground Task Force is the backbone of what the Marine Corps does as a fighting force as a whole. This is a concept we came up with after the Korean War in the 1950 to 53 time frame. And what it is is a task organization of Marines that includes the ground combat element, the aviation element, the air combat element, or ACE, and it also includes the support personnel. This organization is sized to whatever the need is. We can go as small as a platoon of Marines to go in and help a small evacuation mission or a small natural disaster calamity anywhere in the world. So the MAGTAF as a whole can't function without every one of those assets or entities and all those Marines, those people uh, putting forth their best effort. Because if you look at it, everything the Marine Corps does no matter what MOS it is, it's somehow, some way tied to a Lance Corporal kicking a door in. We're going to use all of our assets and everything available at our disposal to support him when he needs it the most. It is designed to help out or to assist in the object in the taking of an objective of an infantry battalion if you if you really look at it. The smallest level that normally we operate with, now we, again, we can task organize any size we need, but the smallest unit is the MU, the Marine Expeditionary Unit, and that is composed of a composite squadron with five different types of aircraft. That's tied with a battalion, somewhere in the neighborhood of 900 grunt Marines that are highly trained, highly skilled warriors, boots on the ground. There's a tank platoon, a platoon of Marine Corps M1A1 Abrams tanks. There is an amphibious tractor platoon that can carry the uh, Marines ashore uh, in amphibious tractors along with the helicopters that operate from the flight deck of one of the amphibious ships. And then of course you've got the combat service support element that's there to supply whatever the Marines need. They're covered by a Navy carrier battle group that shadows this amphibious ready group with F-18s aboard, including Marine F-18s on the aircraft carriers that cover the Marines should they have to make a landing. That's the small unit, that's the MU. At a moment's notice anywhere in the world, they can respond and they do respond to any crises that, that erupts, whether it be Libya, whether it be the tsunami in Japan, anywhere that there is trouble, the Marine Expeditionary Unit can go into that. And that is a culminating point of what a true MAGTAF is based on the assets they have at sea, the logistics they're gonna to have to require to go execute the operation, and then them actually executing the operation and the plan that goes into it. Anywhere at any time in the world at a moment's notice, the Marine Expeditionary Unit can be called upon to do just about anything. What makes us unique is our ability because we have all of those elements in our own force. We have the ground marines. We have an extraordinary marine air force. The only reason the Marine Corps has aviation is close air support of those marines on the ground. And to top it all off, then we have an extraordinary list of capabilities with our combat service support. This 
organization is, Lord knows, one of the premier battle organizations in the entire world because of this full, complete package that we hit the beach with. But it is much more than that. It is a, a disaster relief organization without equal anywhere in the world. Nobody does it better than the United States Marine Corps with 10% of our nation's armed forces and 5% of the armed forces budget. We provide this capability worldwide. There is nothing that can stop us.